Hi, it's Graham here. Today, I'm going to show you what Microsoft Teams on Android looks like on the latest release. So this is a new release in April 2021. I have already upgraded the system. I am running a Poly Studio X30. So just here, front of room display. I've got my Meet Now and more. So if that was a touch screen, I could enable this. But this screen isn't touch. I have got it signed in as Flex Teams Room 04. Now down here, I have the new console. So this has been updated, so it's no longer just a pan tilt zoom and control a camera. I now get that look and feel similar to the Microsoft Teams room on Windows. But first thing is, I must sign in with the same credentials as what is displayed up here on the uh, room system. So I can either type it in here, or I can do sign in from another device. So this is a nice feature within the Microsoft Teams uh, Android ecosystem. So I can head to uh, microsoft.com forward slash device login and I can enter this code as you see below. So just over here on the left hand side you can see I've got that web page. So now I've signed in on the browser and you can now see down here on the touch panel it's now recognized it's signed in and it's going to sign in with these same credentials. So you can see it's doing all, all this automation, it's picked up those details, it's signing in and now it's looking for the Microsoft Teams room. So they're on the same network, they're on the same switch, and I think this is one of the key things. They must be on the same network switch for, for it to be able to discover the front of room system with the touch panel. So there you can see, it's now uh, found it, so we can do a device pairing. And you can see now on the front of room display, it's got a code. So I simply tap in this code and I click pair. And there we go, thumbs up, both sides. It has successfully paired. <clears throat> And there we have it. We now have a meeting room system with this new uh, look and feel. Now one thing you'll notice straight away is that it doesn't have a present button, uh, which the Microsoft Teams room on Windows does. You cannot present with HDMI ingest on these devices just yet. Let's have a look at what we've got in um, feedback, we've got settings, we've got the volume control. Um, the other thing you'll notice as well is the icons have removed from the front of room display. They're gone because it's all here now on here. I can go to settings. I can look at my device pairings. Um, device settings, what does that give me? Not a lot. Uh, I need to have access to there. I can do a meet now. Let's have a look. I can invite someone. So let's invite another uh, room. And we'll do a point to point call. So there we have a point-to-point -point call uh, with the meeting room. Now again, you'll see that this is slightly different, the look and feel from the Windows console. I have, um, obviously I can turn my details on and off. Now, one thing you'll notice, I don't have the option for gallery, I don't have the option to uh, change my layout, together mode, I can't raise my hand. So I can see some, some details, but why can't I raise my hand? don't know. Maybe it needs to be a meeting rather than a point-to-point -point call. Let's try that. So I've now sent the meeting room devices a invite and we will wait for that to synchronize. It's come through on Windows already, I can see that. Let's wait for it to come through on this uh, Microsoft Teams room on Android. So again the calendar information, there we go, it's joined here. So we've got two things, we've got the invite here with the join button uh, and we also have it on the front of the room display, we can see a visual calendar. So just add another meeting invite, just so we can see you know, how long uh, meeting invites show for. Because uh, I believe on here we do have a scroll option. Um, oh look, oh, I can scroll down to refresh, that's interesting. What else can I do on here? So nothing else has changed. So let's join it. go ahead and join the meeting. So we're now on the call, and we're ready and waiting. And let's ask to join the other room. So there we have a meeting in progress, and why don't I join from my desktop client as well. So there we have another view. <coughs> what else do we get then? Okay, so in a meeting I do get uh, live captions, so I can turn those on. And I also get the ability to raise my hand, so that's quite good. That's standard. 
but I don't get layouts. That's quite disappointing. I don't get a choice of the layouts that I see on the screen. I'm stuck with what I see here. I can't share content, remember that. So let me share content from my browser, from my uh, desktop client. So let's see what uh, content ingest looks like on the uh, devices here. So you can see we're, we're full screen video. Um, my video window's gone down here in the bottom corner. Uh, what can I do from here? I can take control. So this is quite cool. I can actually advance the slides from here. Because they're uploaded to the PowerPoint online, I can actually have full integration. So that's nice. Uh, that's convenient. Ah, now I do get an option for uh, how do I want to see it. So I can do content and gallery. Okay, traditional. Down the side. And then I can also just go gallery. So I see the video only. And then I can go back to content. So yeah, it's got obviously the ability to control a PowerPoint, something that I can't do on the MTR just yet on Windows. So there are going to be some differences between the two. So just some thoughts around that. I can lower hand there, so that's fine. I've got the mute all for everyone. Um, so people can unmute, so you have a, an element of control. Stop presenting. So let's see if I add more people in. What does it actually look like uh, on the layout here on the front of room display? Is it only two by two? Can I admit people through the lobby? Yes, okay, I've got that feature, that's good. Okay, so we do get to see different layouts. I can use my iPad. I now get together mode. Okay, so a certain threshold of a number of people and I can see myself everywhere. You obviously need more than a certain number of people. Uh, but it has got that gallery mode, so you can uh, view everyone. That is really it. That's what you can do on MTR08. Now, I could also add someone else. If I wanted to, to add this, I could type them in. And again, if someone hasn't joined, it's in the invite. I can ask them to join from there. Also, I can remove someone from the meeting. End the meeting too. There we have the Microsoft Teams room on Android. First look. Does what it says in the box. So I've just sent this a couple of more invites just to see what it looks like on, on the screens. Again, look. We can... Swipe down to refresh, that's quite nice. So we can see others. Uh, I don't have a join button because I didn't add a Teams meeting. So I added another one, let's just refresh that. So that's quite nice, I've got to see other ones. With Microsoft Teams Room on Windows, I can only see the next three meetings. Obviously I've got the calendar up here as well, which is quite nice. Uh, I can see everything that's happening there. Some features are on here that aren't on Windows. There'll be a, a, you know, a little bit of catch up between the two. Ah, there we go. You slide out from the right hand side and I've got the camera settings. So I can uh, turn on that auto camera tracking. I've got the camera control. So then this is going back to the Poly app uh, rather than the Microsoft Teams room app. So if I turn that off, I've got manual control. I've got presets or I can leave on the auto camera tracking. So that's how um, Poly do it. <coughs> You swipe out and you get. That's all for now. Let's see what else comes in the next few uh, updates. Thanks very much.